We are joined by Chief Tom Jenkins. You were second vice president last year, moving up to first vice president this year. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. So talk to us about uh, what you see moving forward, the topics and issues for this upcoming year. Well, uh, the IEFC is very diversified in what it's working on. Everything from legislative issues that affect all of our nation's fire departments to issues involving firefighter health and safety, cancer, and uh, trying to make sure that we're using good tactics. And so uh, going forward, I think the, the, it's going to be a balancing act to make sure we keep all those programs in play, that we continue to look at emerging issues like terrorism and homeland security. And so uh, I'm delighted to be a part of it and, uh, and have no doubt that it's going to be a busy year to come. And you touched on this a little bit, but in the current state of the fire department, what concerns you the most? I think the, the largest concern I have are, are not what we would traditionally say. I think that the uh, most uh, significant emerging issue involves terrorism, homeland security, uh, homeland grown extremists, and uh, some of the threats to uh, you know, the security of, of some of our nation's cities and, and how that impacts our fire departments, that, especially those that provide emergency medical service of some variety. And uh, those are going to th those those issues involve some difficult questions that we have to get answers to. And thinking long term, what do you think those issues look like as opposed to the immediate issues? Well, I think that our mission in the fire department is going to evolve. That it wasn't that long ago, uh, you know, prior to Columbine and and in Littleton, Colorado, you know, we had a uh, you know a, a tendency to want to stage and wait for law enforcement to do their thing. And and uh, like any. Uh, emerging and controversial and, and complex topic, the, the role of the fire departments is, is expanding and that we have to be uh, very plugged into our uh, homeland security partners, law enforcement primarily, uh, to make sure that we're providing uh, care to those people who are affected uh, by any potential terrorist, whether it be domestic or international threat, and, uh, and that we're also there for any other uh, chemical, biological, nuclear uh, um, uh, threat associated with those events and so it's just it's a complex time and uh, with a lot of complex issues but uh, but our association has those answers. Now next year you're going to be IAFC president have you begun to thought about what issues you're going to bring to the forefront? Well for me uh, this is one of them that uh, I think that uh, our nation's fire department struggle with what they need to be doing for best practices and how they need to prepare uh, for incidents that involve uh, domestic and international terrorism uh, and then it's continuing the good work of uh, many of the IAFC's programs. Uh, the health and safety of firefighters is at the forefront that we continue to struggle and lose too many firefighters uh, due to cardiovascular incidents and due to cancer. And uh, those issues have, are much more elevated today than they were years ago, but we have still more work to do. And, uh, and of course, I, I think the biggest obligation of a, a future president is to listen. And so this is gonna be a year I'm gonna listen real carefully to make sure that I'm not missing anything and that we don't have other issues that maybe we have not paid uh, enough attention to. But, uh, but regardless, I'm excited and, and looking forward to it. And what are you most looking forward to this week at FRI 2016? Well, uh, as much as it's uh, a lot of work and uh, a lot of steps on my Fitbit and all that sort of thing, uh, I always enjoy FRI for it's, it's a communion of like-minded public servants. And uh, it's always fun to see uh, firefighters and fire officers from all across the world and all across the country that, uh, that, that, that are friends now and that, that have the same problems I have and share the same common goals and interests. And so this is a good way to charge my battery. And so it'll make me a better fire chief back home when I go back. Uh, but most importantly, it's, uh, it's just a great networking event. Chief Tom Jenkins, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.